This is my review of the Omega ROM version 10 for the Galaxy Note 2 GT N7 100. So as you can see this is the Android 4.1.2, that's the Jelly Bean and this is the Omega ROM version 10. So hit link 1 from the description for the installation method and link 2 will lead you to the ROM thread so you can download the ROM from there. So guys while flashing this ROM you get this aroma installer where you can choose between apps that you want and that you don't want. So it depends upon your personal interest what apps do you want and what you don't. So you can simply uncheck any app that you don't want. Selecting or deselecting any app in the ROM installer is completely safe. So no need to worry about it. So let's go ahead and see what's new with this ROM. So first of all you have this 26 toggles on your notification panel. Right now I have customized it so I don't have the 26 toggles right now but you can customize your toggles panel from this uh, toggles control. You can customize quick buttons, choose toggles and you can select from lots of toggles. Uh, all together you have 26 toggles so you can just add it or you can remove it. You can also you know change the toggles order from this uh, sort toggles menu. So this is new with this ROM. You have this uh, transparent weather widget. You also have ink effect with your fingers now in the lock screen. It's working really smooth. And it also works with your S Pen. Yep. So previously, you know, in other ROMs, you have this ink effect with your S Pen only. But with this ROM, you have your ink effect with both the S Pen and your finger. So that's good. You also have negative colors added to this ROM. If you long press this power button, you'll have this negative screen colors. If you turn it on, okay, now you can see it. The screen goes negative. Everything. It looks good. Just for a change. So that's new and you also have this latest Samsung keyboard and you do get symbols on top of every key so if you long press that key you'll get that respective symbol so that's good. You also have Omega files with this ROM which helps you customize your ROM from boot animation to fonts, uh, kernels, uh, modems, dialer keypad icons, lock screen clock icons sounds and so on you can also add themes to your ROM for example right now for, let's go ahead and check out some boot animations okay so you have these options say for example I want to see the boot animation number three we can open it you can click preview to get a preview so here you have this boot animation I hope you can see it yep so if you like it, you can just go back, you can just hit download Omega boot animation and you'll get a zip file, okay? Uh, you'll get this, uh, okay, if you enable, uh, if you click it, okay, so it says you cannot download while it's in the pop-up browser, you can get this full screen mode and automatically you'll have this zip file downloading. So once you have it, you can flash it through your clockwork recovery mode. So it's completely safe, I have tested it and it works. So you can also customize your boot animations a second let me just so you can also customize your boot animations and you also can change you know these fonts you get this fonts package named the flip fonts you can download it you can uh, you get around 10 to 15 fonts you also have launchers modems programs additional programs that you can add okay here you have it and you have this uh, dialer keypad icons if you want to change it you can just go on to it and for example say I want to get a preview for this dialer keypad gray 3d okay here you have it you get the preview over here you can just hit download and you can flash it through your clockwork recovery mode you can just explore this uh, Omega files so it's pretty easy you also get this S Pen board switcher so what this does is, you know, this allows you to use a separate keyboard for your S Pen. Say for example, uh, if you enable the switcher surface, and for S Pen you choose the Android keyboard. And now you put in your S Pen, and go back, 
and you open up your messaging okay now you can see this is the Samsung keyboard and as soon as you pull out your S Pen you'll have this Android keyboard so that's new you also have this uh, multi window control that means you can add additional apps on your multi window tray say for example uh, hit add application and these apps have added to my tray I want the camera app just tap it and hit cam select camera and now you go back tap kill it now you go back and back now opening up the multi window now hit edit drag the camera now go back now opening the camera in one window and s note on another one so it's working i hope you can see it yep. you also have this cool battery indicator icon the circle one so other than that all the functions that you get with your note 2 you know all the s pen functions the motion controls uh, wi-fi bluetooth gps air view everything is working perfect no issues with any of the functionality all the apps that you get with this rom and all the functions are working perfectly no crashes no lags no force closes or anything this is the best rom for the galaxy note 2 that's what i feel personally everything that you get with the android 4.1.2 works perfect all the s pen functions work okay s memo is there you can snip any area here you see it you can take the screenshots okay there you have it the s note is also working and all the other apps you know like the s voice it opens it works the Google now works as well so guys the battery life is also pretty decent it's normal that you get with the stock ROM and it also depends upon the installation that you do you know if you have a lot of bloatwares installed uh, that consumes your memory and drains your battery faster so that's what I just wanted to, to inform you guys just select the apps that you use in the ROM installer that will help you to get better battery life so that's all guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay subscribed, bye bye now and have a good day.